We all think we know what a swamp is, but do we? What is a swamp exactly? And is swampland really unproductive? Well, in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what is a swamp? Well, a swamp is a type of forested wetland that stays wet for long periods of time and typically has deeper pockets of water than other wetlands. In the past, swamps had a reputation for being some of the most unproductive, unwanted land in the U.S. But, as we shall see, this reputation was unwarranted. Number two, what are some examples of swamps? Well, cypress swamps are one of the most common types of freshwater swamps. A great example is the Great Cypress Swamp in Florida. There are also saltwater swamps, mangroves being one of the most common examples. And again, in Florida, you have another great example of a mangrove swamp in Biscayne National Park. Number three, what are the benefits of swamps? Well, swamps act as giant sponges, which means they absorb a ton of water when it rains. And this allows them to protect coastal areas from flooding. But not only that, Swamps are nature's lungs, and they filter and purify water, which is incredibly important for coastal communities around the country. Number four, why are swamps protected? Well, as we just saw, swamps have a number of benefits. But sadly, the U.S. lost nearly half of its wetlands prior to 1970. This is why, in that same year, the federal government started to protect all wetlands, including swamps. Number five, can you build on swampland? So as we just learned, wetlands are protected, but you can still build on them. However, there are a few caveats. First of all, if your swamp is classified as a federally protected wetland, you will need to coordinate with your local Army Corps of Engineers office and likely receive a permit before you can build. And if you'd like to learn more about building in wetlands, we have a whole video on the topic. But even if you don't need a permit or are otherwise able to build on the property, you may need to budget for soil amendments or mitigation measures. You should also work with an experienced builder because building in swampland is very different than building anywhere else. Also keep in mind that swampland is wetland, which means your home may be prone to flooding. So you'll want to build it to be flood proof or flood resilient. And this could mean giving up on your basement. So that covers the basics of what is a swamp. But there's still one big question. Why should you care at all? Well, I have to emphasize again that swamps are truly important ecosystems. Don't believe me? Just ask Albertine Kimball. Albertine lives in the swampy forest of Plaquemines Parish near the mouth of the Mississippi River. Her home is raised 23 feet off the ground, and yet it still floods. But she wouldn't live anywhere else. Water means life, Albertine says. Yet sadly, her corner of the world is in danger. Louisiana's coastline contains some of the largest swamp and marshland in the U.S., larger than even the Everglades. The Plaquemines is at the eastern tail of this ecosystem and is the most imperiled. It suffers from a confluence of worst-case scenarios. Not only does it have some of the fastest rates of sea level rise, but it has also been damaged by oil and gas canals and starved of fresh sediment by the damming of the Mississippi River. Experts say that if nothing is done, the drowning of the Plaquemines is unstoppable. Which is bad news not only for Albertine, but just about everyone, for the swamp is one of Louisiana's most productive regions. Plaquemines is a coastal defense mechanism that protects the city of New Orleans from flooding but it also contains 17% of the nation's crude oil production, 8% of its natural gas reserves, a productive fishing industry, and of course, it is home to thousands of people for whom the swamp provides a wild and free way of life. This means that just about everyone wants to protect it, and in fact, Louisiana's Grand Swamp Rescue Plan received nearly unanimous support from the state legislature. The idea behind the Moonshot Plan is to open the federal levees that hold back the Mississippi River upstream of Plaquemines Parish in order to simulate the natural processes that created the swamp in the first place. The hope is that the influx of sediment will grow enough new land to help Plaquemines wade out sea level rise and survive into the next century. Yet although there is widespread agreement that the Plaquemines must be saved, not everyone likes this plan. 
For though the plan may save the ecosystem, in the short term, it will likely massacre giant populations of oysters, shrimp, crab, and fish. And this is upsetting not only to nature lovers, but the small-scale fishermen who rely on those populations for their livelihood. Which just goes to show why it is important to save swamplands before they are on the verge of collapse. So the next time you purchase a parcel of swampy land, look at it through a new lens. Perhaps that wetland is not a nuisance, but a precious and hard-to-replace resource worth saving. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about swampland? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com slash listings. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.